What's up guys, Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com answering a question from a fellow subscriber. Now guys, if you're looking for more detailed uh, auto body videos, don't forget to check out LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. You can click the link at the top right of this video here or down below in the description uh, to get a free 100 page auto body book and a special offer from me to learn more about auto body. So. We got a question in from someone here, I, from Mr. Evan. <laughs> I'm looking to paint a vintage pickup truck, but I'm not quite ready, willing to do it myself. So I want to find a paint shop that'll do it for me, but won't rip me off with a lousy paint job. What should I look for to be sure that they're going to do it right? Well, this is a very good question because I have been in this industry since I was like 13 years old. My dad, I grew up with my dad's body shop. You know, he went from a small shop to a much bigger shop with a partner and we've ran the thing for a long time. So I would say the first thing is to go meet the owners, you know, go around town, talk to some people and there's advantages of actually going with a smaller shop versus a big commercial shop, big commercial shop, you know, they're super busy. They want in and out jobs. They're not looking to really get into vintage stuff. Uh, so if you want to really get a good paint job, look for a small custom shop where they do custom work. Okay. And price around first. Okay. When you price around, ask them, what kind of paints are you going to be using? Um, how long is it going to take? How many, who's going to work on it? You know, because if something happens, you want to know who did the job, right? Because a lot of times you'll you'll bring a car to a body shop and then they, they have body men, right? Sometimes the body men are there, they'll work out, to do the body. And then one day that guy is gone. He doesn't, he's not back anymore. Oh, uh, you know, James didn't do the body work on it. Darren did and he's not here anymore. I mean, who do you blame? So if you know who's actually doing the body work, that's a plus for you. Because you can literally, it, like if you're working with a small, small shop, like when I had my shop, I was the dude doing it. Like you would talk to me for a price quote. I'd give you the price quote. I'd tell you exactly what I'm going to be doing to it. I'd even take pictures along the way to show you my process. I used to do that, you know, and uh, it's it's so much better if they could even take pictures of the process saying, hey, look, we, ground, we grinded out this whole section. Look, we found a, a sock and some newspaper in this hole. Right, because they do that. Some, you know, back in the days, who knows? They fill up a hole with a T-shirt and body filler it up. So I've grinded parts of cars down to find like shoes in a hole. Like I found some shoes in there once. It's ridiculous the stuff that you find. God. But um, anyway, talk to the owner. Make sure you get a good price quote and stop in once in a while. That's also important. Like I had a lot of my guys come in, like you know. I told them, look, it's going to take take me about a month. I'm working on multiple cars at a time. Give me about a month. The car will be done. And then they'll stop in like a week later. Give me a call. Hey, can I come in? Yeah, I'm in. You know, come down, check it out. And then you could also educate the customer on the process. So they could see all the work you're putting into it, what's going on. So I would look for something like that, okay? Make sure you know what type of paints they're going to use. If there's a specific kind of paint you want versus another one, make sure make sure you're getting it. Okay, because a lot of the bigger shops, they say, yeah, we're using this top top line clear coat, but they're using the medium grade or the cheap crap, right? So to save on cost, to make more money. That's what it's all about, right? So hopefully this, this video helps you out, give you some ideas. Um, I hope you find a good shop. Um, and also, where are they going to paint it? Try to get a shop that has access to a spray booth. Not all body shops are going to have a spray booth at their shop. Okay, especially the smaller ones. But if they have a shop next door or something that they use for their spraying, then you'd want to go with that. If not, tell them, hey, what shop are you going to spray that? All right. Although you can get great, custom, amazing finishes without a booth. Okay, because I remember for a while we had no booth. We were just painting right in the shop. Close it out, hose it out, and paint it. Boom, boom, boom. Came out beautiful. Our, our guys next door used to do it. Filipino guys on this side, Korean guys over here, Chinese across the street whole like body shop industrial zone right so just make sure you know ha have a, and also follow your gut if you're dealing with somebody that you feel like a connection with and you like the person then go with that person you know if you're feeling like a bad vibe in your stomach or this guy's gonna kick because dude i've been in this industry i knew a guy a friend of mine right 
who had a shop next to us. Like, we weren't super good friends, but he was a friend. I knew him. He was about 10 years older than me. So when I was like 18, 19, he was probably like 29, 30, right, in that area. He's a guy in Hawaii that I knew. And he would like, he would do nice paint jobs, like graphics and flames and candy, really good work. And he would charge like $10,000 for a paint job, $12,000 for a paint job, $5,000 for a motorcycle paint job, like high prices. And he started doing some bad things and he started basically charging people for paint jobs, getting their cars in his shop. He took all the money and ran. Like he disappeared. He like went to, he took like, he got like 150 grand in customer jobs, money. Right, from all these cars that he was working on. And he didn't complete the work. He disappeared. Like, I don't even know what happened to him. I knew of the guy. He wasn't a close friend, but he was kind of a friend. Right? But crazy. Crazy things happen. So be careful who you deal with. Um, They don't have to be certified, ASC certified, because you know some of the guys out there, they really know what they're doing. They just just don't have the certification in ASC. So... As long as you've seen their work, you know who you're dealing with, they seem honorable and trustable, I would, and you're getting a fair price, and you're able to go in and check and stop in once in a while to see the progress on your car, then something like that. So hopefully this helps, guys. Uh, if you're on YouTube and um, you like this video, please give it a like. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts if you ever went out and got pricing on, on paint jobs and stuff and, and all of that. It's Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com, and if you're brand new to the channel, Don't forget to go up over here if you're on mobile. Click this button here. There's going to be a drop down where you can get a free 85 page auto body book. Also, you can click this down here if you're on a computer. And there's going to be a link here where you can click the link and go to learnautobodyandpaint.com, which actually looks like this here. You go here, you put your email in, you download it, you get a free book. Um, and there's tons of free training on this website, tons and tons and tons of free training. There's, uh, over 450 videos here that you can learn from and articles and so much more. All right. It's, and again, don't forget to check out the VIP area right up here. So click on VIP course. You will see the VIP course. And if you're looking for awesome spray guns, the only spray guns that I use at the learn auto body headquarters, then check out uh, a site that I love that I get all of my products from called Zula.com. Check it out. All right. Talk to you soon. Have a good day.